And he saved four lives before returning that final time. Now, I didn't personally know, obviously, private first class Mensa. Uh, I digress this morning. I'm a father. I started late in life. Uh, so uh, my knees are telling me I'm in my 50s. But my son, who's eight, is trying to convince me I'm in my 20s. And he's a big Marvel superhero fan, so he's very excited this weekend for the uh, upcoming film. Uh, um, and I showed him a picture of your son. And I told him the story. And as one father to the next, as one man of color to the next, as he's excited about that movie, I felt an element of pride of saying your son was a superhero and is a superhero and is someone to be looked at. It is my privilege to be here today as we honor the memory of this exceptional young man and present with him again New York's Medal of Honor. If we can bring it up. If you can join us here. At this time, I would again ask the Mensa family to join Mr. White for the pre presentation of the New York State Medal for Valor. Attention to orders. Andrew M. Cuomo, Governor of the State of New York, has awarded the New York State Medal for Valor to Private First Class Emmanuel O. Mensa, 107th Military Police Company, New York Army National Guard, who distinguished himself through exceptional meritorious heroism in the service of the United States by sacrificing his life's life to save others. The fire quickly spread through the residential building, putting every resident's life at risk. Many residents were able to initially escape the structure before fire and rescue arrived. However, several were not able to make their way out and were unaware of the severity of the fire initially. Private First Class Mensa, at home for the holidays after recently graduating from 91 Bravo Advanced Individual Training, and before reporting for duty to his command at the 107th Military Police Company, resided in apartment 11 of the same building. He was able to escape the fire initially, making it to the safety of the street. As New York City Fire, Police, and Rescue arrived at the scene and began coordinating operations, they observed Private First Class Mensa returning to the fire to assist other residents and family members who were not able to escape without regard to the increasing size and danger of the blaze. Detectives from the 48th Precinct, New York City Police Department, witnessed Private First Class Mensa returning into the fiery building and assisting other residents to escape at least three times. The fourth time Private First Class Mensa entered the structure, he did not return. In what the local media has called one of the most destructive residential fires in recent New York City history, Private First Class Mensa is credited with saving the lives of at least four New York City residents before giving his own life in an attempt to save more. His courageous and selfless act in the face of unimaginable conditions are consistent with the greatest traditions of uniformed service and deserving of the highest possible recognition. His absolute bravery in the face of death brings great credit upon himself and the New York Army National Guard. Thank you, Mr. White and the Mensa family. Please take your seats. It has been an honor and privilege to recognize the heroic sacrifice and selfless service of Private First Class Emanuel Mensa. His courageous actions and legacy will forever be remembered 
and honored by the members of the New York Army National Guard and the citizens of New York and will serve as an example for us all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction given by Chaplain Kim. Once again, please join me in prayer. Let us go forth into a world in peace and dedicated to your service, O Lord. As prior first class Mensa has modeled, let us hold fast to that which is good, render to no person evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the needy and afflicted, and honor all people. Let us love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of his spirit. And may God's blessings be upon us, now and forevermore. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please keep Private First Class Emmanuel Mensa in your thoughts and prayers. You are invited to pay your respects to the Mensa family in a